Hey everyone, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my Bath & Body Works Halloween preview haul for you guys. So I put on a little Halloween sweatshirt to get in the mood for you guys. But if you don't already know, Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. I go a little bit crazier for it more and more each year. Um, so when I saw that Bath & Body Works was doing their little Halloween preview, of course I had to hop on the app and order some of the new and exciting pieces. Um, so I've got a few of the fine fragrance mists to share with you guys, as well as some pocket backs. I believe there's a pocket back holder and a couple of soaps as well. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So I figured we'll start with the most exciting pieces and that at least for me would be the new body care collection that's going to be coming out. So I got a fine fragrance mist out of each different um, scent that they came out with. So the first one that we've got is Midnight's Bell. And first off, I just want to show you guys like how stunning is that packaging with like the iridescent cobwebs and like just the little like placard right there and the spider. I think it's absolutely beautiful. They did an amazing job styling these this year. But again, I'm a sucker for like the spider webs and the spookiness. So this is right up my alley. But the scent notes on this one are Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, and Crystal Amber. And this, I'm wondering if it's gonna be more like ambery, spicy, or like what it's gonna be like. And it's definitely very amber heavy. This is one I was kind of anticipating not being in love with it. It's a really nice ambery, spicy, like almost a woodsy kind of a scent. Definitely an outdoorsy kind of scent. Um, a little different than what I would normally gravitate towards. But I think it's something that like in the fall time, I think this is going to be really pretty like to wear to bed or to wear at nighttime. Just when like you're kind of warm and cozy and it's dark and a little spooky. I don't know, this gives me very similar to like sensual amber, but a little bit more woodsy than that. So definitely, again, very not my normal scent profile or scent preferences, but still really pretty, something I will definitely utilize. I don't know that I would get like a lotion or a shower gel per se, but like the mist, like I said, I think this would be a really pretty like nighttime kind of a scent. Just super pretty, very deep and woodsy, almost unisex. I don't know if I could quite go that far, but regardless, really pretty, very deep, woodsy kind of a scent. I do really enjoy this. I think this is going to be fun to play around with. And then the other one that's in very similar packaging is Everlasting Magic. And again, it's got those beautiful spider webs on it. A couple more, or I guess there's no spiders on this one, but just like some gems along the spider web. But absolutely gorgeous. Again, absolutely in love with this packaging. But this one has notes of bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. And this is the one reading off the notes on the site I figured I'd probably like the most because I'm a sucker for berry scents, as you guys know. But let's go ahead and see. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a very berry forward scent. It's almost giving me similar vibes to Dream Bright, like where it's got like a perfumey edge to it as well. Definitely different though, like they're not the same thing. But that's really pretty. What else am I getting in that? Is it the musk? Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a musk to that, but really pretty. Again, absolutely love this. I almost wish they'd gone for like a burgundy cap as well instead of just like the black, which is absolutely covered in mist now. So go me, but super pretty scent. Again, it's got like a perfumey berry quality to it while it's still got a little bit of that muskiness. So more of like a fall berry scent, not like a light bright, you know, gingham vibrant or anything like that. Definitely not like that but super, super pretty. Something, again, I'm going to get a ton of use out of this one 
this is one I could see myself like needing to hold off or I'm going to just finish the entire bottle so so quickly. I would probably get a lotion or a shower gel in this as well depending on what my collection looks like when this collection actually hits because if I've got too many shower gels or too many lotions then there's no point in getting this but if I've kind of dwindled through some things then I would maybe consider getting like a lotion or shower gel but regardless super super pretty definitely very excited for this scent and then the last scent that they came out in body care or at least for the preview that they came out with in body care is vampire blood and this one's not as pretty whereas these have all like the beautiful spider webs and the iridescence and like the placard or that's not iridescent that's holographic this is just kind of very basic it's got like a little rose and a little i don't know it's not as pretty in my opinion. I just, I, I'm more of a sucker for like the spider webs and the spooky aesthetic and this just isn't really giving that for me. I don't know why they switched it up on the packaging for this one. I don't know if those are supposed to be like sister scents and then this is just kind of like its own vibe or if that means we're going to be getting more in packaging like similar to this. I don't know. But regardless, the notes on this are red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying Plum. So this feels like it's going to be a very, obviously a very berry forward scent again, but oh, oh that's okay. It's almost like a fruit punchy kind of a scent, but a little deeper from that plum. That's really pretty. I've never, or I don't think I've ever smelled like vampire blood in the body care. I know they've done the mini like happy Halloween before, but that's really pretty. I don't know that that's something I would necessarily like associate with Halloween or October, but it's pretty. That's something I would honestly probably use in like the summertime or like maybe end of summer heading into fall when I want to feel those like cozy fall vibes, but it's not time for like pumpkin spice yet. I feel like that could be a good time for this, but where I live in October, it's pretty cold. So I don't know that this is quite an October vibe for me. Um, it's really pretty. Again, it's something I will use and I do enjoy. But just to like release this as a Halloween scent, I don't know if that's quite the vibe I would go with. But regardless, it is very pretty. I just, uh, the packaging and like the scent, it just doesn't, it's not very Halloween to me. But all of that aside is a beautiful scent and I will definitely, definitely get some use out of this. So moving on from body care, I picked up a couple of soaps. So the first soap that I got was The Perfect Autumn. And this has notes of fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, and crisp apple. And that just sounded so good to me. Like I love their pumpkin apple scent. So to throw some cranberry in there, I thought would be amazing. Ooh, that is good, of course. Had to get some on my nose as per usual. That's nice. I don't really get like a spiced pumpkin to it. I definitely get like the cranberry and the apple. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna stop smelling it because I keep shoving my nose in this thing. It's like I don't know where my nose ends or I just wanna get so close to smell it that I forget where my nose ends or something. But this is like becoming a problem. But regardless, this is a super, super pretty fall scent. Like I said, I don't really get much of that. I've got some on my hand much of that like spiced pumpkin. I definitely get the cranberry and the apple, but I think this is gonna be really fun like in September or around Thanksgiving. I think that would be really, really pretty. But yeah, so that is the perfect autumn. Definitely a big fan. And so the other soap I got was Vampire Blood, of course. And yep, it has the same notes, red berries, night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum. So I'd imagine this is gonna smell the same. I've only owned Vampire Blood in like a pocket bag before. So I'd imagine again, it's gonna smell the same. Yep, that's Vampire Blood. It's really pretty. Again, I'm gonna use it around like Halloween, but I love the packaging on this, the whole like stained glass effect. I think it's so, so pretty. I love this vibe that they went with. I don't know if they were like trying to make it match. I mean, they've both got roses on them, but like this doesn't have the same stained glass effect that this does. 
So I would have loved it more if like this was the stained glass or if this matched the other ones. I'm just gonna stop rambling about this, but <laughs> those are my thoughts. But super pretty, again, I love the stained glass effect. This is one like I would love to own like Ghoul Friend and Perfect Pumpkin or do they call it pumpkin carving now? Are those the same scent? I feel like they kind of go back and forth on those. But um, Wicked Apple, I think that's another one. But I would love to have like the whole set because I think the bottle is stunning and the whole design that they went with is beautiful, but I cannot possibly imagine using up that much soap. It's just myself and my husband here and we, you know, we're at work a lot, so we don't run through soaps like crazy. So this one bottle will last us October. So I just didn't feel a need as much as like the hoarder in me or the collector in me would love to own all of them. But again, I just think the packaging is super, super pretty and the scent is beautiful as well. So like I said, I also got some of the pocket bags, just like the little Halloween pack that they had online. So it came with Ghoul Friend, Moonlit Graveyard, and Vampire Blood. Of course, I've already smelled Vampire Blood a million times, so I know what that smells like, but Ghoul Friend, I can't remember if I've owned Ghoul Friend before. I feel like this is gonna be hard to get like a good read on it unless I actually use it. The pocket bags are so hard to get a scent off of unless you use them. <laughs> Straight alcohol. Oof, let's try that again. I don't know what that would smell like. I'm sure I could find like, they've got the candle and last year they had bath bombs. I don't know if they're gonna do bath bombs this year, but like the soap and stuff like that. Let me find the scent notes for you guys because I don't know what this smells like. All right, so the only notes I could find for Ghoul Friend are under the candle and that has notes of dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine-chilling citrus. And I guess I kind of get that vibe, like a strawberry citrus, but it's super, super faint. Like, I put a decent amount on my hands, and like, I don't really smell anything. So it's either I didn't use enough, which it's hand sanitizer, so like, I'm not gonna keep piling on to smell it, or it's just like a super light scent, but Regardless, it's okay. Um, the pack came with two of them, so I'll definitely use them. It's just kind of like a, a just kind of there scent. Like, it's okay. So the last scent in that pack was Moonlit Graveyard, which is this absolutely stunning blue. I love the little crow or raven or whatever on the front. I think that's super, super cute. But let's see. Oh, that's very musky. I wonder if that's got like an amber or something in it. I don't know, it's a much more like unisex kind of a scent. Um, this only, like this was the only one that came in the pack. There was two Vampire Blood, two Ghoul Friend, and then this. Um, it's okay. Again, something I'll definitely utilize, but not something I'll like seek out again. I just, again, was invested in the whole Halloween packaging. I thought it was super, super pretty. And again, that blue is absolutely stunning. I'm a sucker for blue, I love blue. But yeah, so got those pocket bags. They're okay. I'm definitely more of like an apple pumpkin or pumpkin apple kind of a gal when it comes to the fall time or like pumpkin cupcake, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, um, I guess all the pumpkin scents. So these aren't exactly quite up my alley, but they're still scents that I'm going to utilize. So this last item is definitely the thing I was the most excited about. I love their Halloween pocket back holders. I think I've gotten at least one from every year for the past few years. Um, my oldest one was the witch holding the little, what's it called, the little crystal ball, and you push like a button on the back of her head and it lights up the crystal ball. So, so pretty, I loved that one. I destroyed that one. It got to the point where I was like super gluing pieces back on and it just wasn't having it anymore. I loved that thing. When I saw this one, the hands clasping the crystal ball, I knew I had to have it. And like, I don't know if I can show you guys, but like, look at that. How pretty is that? I think it's adorable. I think it's gonna be so cute to have it hanging on my purse. It's just Halloween enough without being like 
you know, the pumpkin spice latte that they have out every year or just like, you know, a jack-o'-lantern or whatever. I think it's super creepy and super pretty. And again, I love that it lights up. I love that purple. So, so cute. So yeah, I just thought this was really, really super cute. Again, I love that it lights up. I think that's such a fun feature. Um, this was, let's see, it was $9.95. But regardless, super, super cute. Something I will definitely be utilizing this Halloween season. I absolutely love this thing. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.